starting in verse, well, let's start about verse 13. Hereby know we that we dwell in him, and he in us, because he has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him and he in God. And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is, so are we in this world. And notice how he tied all that back together. But the part there that I, I wanted to get to is this real quick. Our, we have boldness because we know now that we have been changed and now as he is, so are we in this world. You got that? That gives you boldness. You get bold when you know that you know. Right? And he said, and we have known and believed the love of God, the, the love that God has toward us. Now notice this. He said, we, this love, you go back into chapter 3, and he says, beloved, behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. And he says, now we have known and believed that love. So we have to, now a lot of people know his love or know of it, but they don't believe his love. You see, and you can tell who doesn't believe his love because they'll always be dealing with mental things. I'm no good. I'm, 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 I have shame. I have guilt. I have condemnation. All that kind of stuff. See, you, you may have heard about his love, but you don't know it and believe it. At some point, you've got to decide to believe it. You say, you know what? I abide in him. He abides in me. I abide in him. His words abide in me. Therefore, I can ask what I want, and I'm not going to be condemned for it. Why? Because I know his love for me, and I know he loved me before I loved him. And now to prove that I love him, I keep his commandments. And when I keep his commandments, what are those commandments? That I love others as myself, and I love them as Jesus loved me. Amen. All of that together is how we live this life. Amen. Now, he said in Luke chapter 10, and verse 19, he said, Behold, I give unto you power, authority, to tread upon serpents and scorpions, and over all the ability of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Now, that right there also, if you don't know that, see, most Christians, they want the power to tread on serpents and scorpions. But they're afraid of everything. They're afraid everything's going to hurt them. Amen. You can't believe the first half and not believe the last half. Amen. Right? You can't exercise power and authority over demons and sickness and diseases and contagious stuff and then be afraid that something's going to hurt you. You have to develop it. Why? Because perfect love casts out fear. And there is no fear in love. Why? Because fear has torment. And that's what I see where a lot of Christians live is in torment. Why? And they're, well, but you don't understand what I've done. I don't care what you've done. You know, it's under the blood. If it ain't, get it there quick. Amen? Well, well you don't know. Well, you don't know what Jesus did then. Because whatever he, whatever he did trumped what you did. Amen? You can't be so bad that would, it would co somehow cover his good. Amen? But at some point, you just got to break out of that and just decide, you know what? I'm going to know and believe his love. I'm going to act like he actually loves me. I'm going to talk like he loves me. I'm not going to talk like he doesn't love me. I'm not going to talk like I'm still defeated and all this stuff because he didn't leave me defeated. He pulled me up out of defeat, put me in victory, and this is the victory, even our faith. And I have faith, so I'm walking in victory. Amen? And then whenever the devil shows up, you just keep talking that way. But I'll tell you what, you start talking that way now, he won't show up as much. Why? Because he don't want to tie in with you whenever you're in, in, in all the fullness of God. Right. He looks at you and you got that armor on. For all he knows, that's God in that armor. And the only way he knows it's you is whenever you raise that thing up and go, here I am. <laughs> yeah. That's the only way he knows. Otherwise, just keep that helmet on. And all he sees is the armor of God walking around. And let me tell you, he don't want to mess with the armor of God. Amen? Amen. But you have to know. But now listen, when you know, know and believe this, you start asking. And you start looking for stuff to ask for other people. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because you know that if you ask, you will receive. 
If you seek, you will find. Amen? But you have to decide to move into this. 